How is it possible that a particle that forms all matter in the universe is so elusive that scientists are unable to obtain it? A perplexing discovery made at the Large Hadron Collider has scientists saying that we were mistaken about the existence of the God particle, the Higgs boson. Instead of giving us the key to the creation blueprint at last, they let us into a hitherto undiscovered realm of reality. The tiniest particles, the fundamental units of our universe, gain the ability to have mass at the Higgs field boundary. What was once pure energy and pure possibilities becomes visible at this wonderful threshold. This energy field is pervasive across the universe and was first proposed by physicist Peter Higgs in 1964. The particle that primarily corresponds to this field is the Higgs boson, sometimes known as the God particle in jest among scientists. For over 10 years, particle physicists have been studying Higgs bosons at the Large Hadron Collider. Even now, a lot of doubts remain about the behavior of these minuscule components of our creation. Why do these bosons behave in such an unpredictable manner? And why do they split up into so many other particles so quickly after they exist, making it nearly hard for scientists to understand them? The Higgs field is sometimes described by scientists as an ocean of an unseen material. This field interacts with all known elementary particles, yet each particle responds to the field entirely differently. Light particles or photons flow across the Higgs field like gracefully streamlined fish. They glide through and the field reacts to their presence with graceful stretches at most, much like a streamlined fish in water barely creates waves or resistance. With the Higgs field, particles like quarks and electrons are not quite as graceful. Their behavior resembles that of a typical human swimmer. Although we create a lot more waves and resistance, we nevertheless go through the water with considerable elegance. W and C bosons act generally like a smooth ball floating on or in water. Though it doesn't create much of a ripple, the ball itself doesn't actively interact with the water. The truly exciting aspect of this field is the Higgs boson. It floats on the surface like waves. This Higgs boson holds the key to the knowledge of mass conferral for scientists. It is the real evidence of its presence as well as a component of the field. The particle was initially detected in 2012 at CERN's Large Hadron Collider in Geneva, Switzerland. One of the most important scientific discoveries of the 21st century is the finding of the Higgs boson, which confirmed Higgs's idea from the 1960s. It would enable us to learn more about the formation of matter. The Higgs boson, which has a mass of about 125 giga electron volts per speed of light squared, roughly 133 times heavier than a proton, is incredibly hefty in relation to other particles. The long postulated Higgs field was confirmed to exist with the discovery of the Higgs boson, which is why it was so revolutionary. Particles receive mass when they interact with this field more, which naturally makes them heavier. It is interesting to note that photons, light carriers in the elementary particle range, have no interaction at all with the Higgs field. They just slip through, maintaining their masslessness and naturally lightning fast speed. Is matter genuinely unstable? Unpredictable Higgs Boson particles are the fundamental building blocks of matter, a fact that is frequently forgotten. Scientists explain the short lifetime of Higgs bosons as a source of unpredictable behavior. Higgs bosons disintegrate into other particles after only about 10 to the power of minus 22 seconds of existence. Scientists can learn a great deal about the Higgs boson's properties from these decay processes. For scientists, though, it is not so simple because of this particle. It degrades in such a perplexing and unpredictable way that it is nearly hard to infer anything significant from it. Thus, it appears that we are currently moving more and farther away from knowing the true nature of the Higgs boson's place 
in the cosmos. They themselves are so transient that it is hard to think that they do anything other than provide mass to the other elementary particles, which is all we now know for sure. On the other hand, it is also certain that the Higgs field and the Higgs boson are necessary for the existence of the world as we know it. There wouldn't be any atoms, molecules, elements, trees, or birds without the field. In fact, the existence of our entire planet is essentially dependent upon the Higgs boson, which gives mass to protons, neutrons, and electrons. Fractions of a second are required for the Higgs boson to decay somewhere in the subatomic region. The end products that have been observed thus far in the subatomic world are the decay of W and Z bosons, which are carriers of the weak nuclear force. Nevertheless, it is also feasible for tau leptons, which resemble heavier relatives of electrons, to decay. Of special interest is the disintegration of the Higgs boson into photons. This is accomplished by an intricate mechanism known as a loop, in which virtual particles momentarily emerge and vanish. The decay into a photon and a Z boson is even more mysterious. However, the conventional model calculations projected a rate of only about 0.15%. A recent research at the Large Hadron Collider has revealed that this decay occurs about 6.6% of the time. As of yet, no rule has been derived by scientists, and it appears that the closer they go to the Higgs boson, the more irrational its behavior becomes. Still, the scientists know that with each and every test run, they are providing new insights into particles and phenomena that have never been found before. We shall eventually have the answers to these research to comprehend the universe and nature. First of all, the scientists at CERN concede very sharply that the current standard model of particle physics needs to be updated to account for these startling new results. The departures from theoretical expectations may point to hitherto unknown properties and forces in the subatomic realm but they may also fundamentally alter our conception of matter and energy. The particle physics standard model, which explains the underlying forces, is likewise no longer the most recent. It was a theoretical framework that was created in the 1970s that describes the underlying particles and forces that comprise our universe. Before the work in Geneva, particles like quarks and leptons as well as force transmitters like photons, gluons, and the Higgs boson, were only theories. This model was thought to be lacking the final element, which was revealed in 2012 with the discovery of the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson has a mass of around 125 giga electron volts, making it unique. Its capacity to impart mass to other particles via the Higgs field makes it special as well. But could the last piece of the puzzle actually be a particle that is nearly hard to grasp and describe using the laws as they stand now? One should not minimize the importance of the difference between observations and computations. Numerous experiments have demonstrated the extraordinary precision of the standard model with predictions exact to fractions of a percent. It fails only in the case of the Higgs boson. We might be dealing with a new basic force here, or we might have to get used to the idea that scientists will continue to discover smaller particles, and that the quest for the end of the universe and subatomic particles will be every bit as fruitless or mysterious as the search for smaller particles. The exact function of dark matter and dark energy in the subatomic universe is yet unknown. These two are also being pursued by researchers at CERN. Though these findings have not been verified, there have been hints that axions may be the constituents of dark matter. Was there a dimensional portal opened by the LHC? After years of work, scientists in Geneva rebuilt the particle accelerator to the public's not only approval, but also admiration. Some skeptics believe that the tests conducted below ground are hazardous and that the tremendous pressures used by scientists to clash particles here 
have the potential to rip holes in space-time or the Earth's magnetic field. The world's largest particle accelerator, the Large Hadron Collider, is an engineering marvel. Currently, the best and only way to examine the world of the smallest particles, the facility was built with the assistance of many different nations. Conditions akin to those immediately following the Big Bang are thought to be created by the Collider, which accelerates protons to almost the speed of light and causes them to collide. The extremely sophisticated ATLAS and CMS detectors at the LHC are able to identify and examine the minute fragments from these collisions. Scientists employ massive quantities of energy and the strongest magnets ever made on Earth to accelerate them. An even higher collision rate will be possible with the proposed high-luminosity LHC, which will also result in even stronger magnetic fields and more energy. Researchers anticipate considerably more accurate measurements as well as the potential finding of new particles or events as a result of the improvement. But are we really taking unimaginable risks and is the effort really worth it? Opponents of the facility associate the LHC experiments with odd weather occurrences in the Geneva region. One of the final test runs is said to have resulted in the formation of a massive rainstorm during which an odd-looking eye was visible. One boy stepped up, an American boy known for being a technological prodigy with clairvoyance. Similar to the well-known medium Edgar Cayce, Max Laughlin makes incredible world predictions. According to Max's statements in interviews, the Geneva experiments may have created a dimensional gate as early as 2022, and we would currently unknowingly be living in a totally different reality. Ghost particles, atmospheric messengers, neutrinos and muons. It is nearly impossible to believe the variety of particles that scientists have discovered to date. One of the most intriguing and enigmatic basic particles in physics are neutrinos. Their mass is basically negligible due to their incredible lightness, and they essentially have no interactions. This implies that they are just a way of passing through regular stuff, neither influencing it nor being influenced by it. Because of its ability to actually pass through walls, scientists refer to neutrinos as ghost particles. Massive amounts of these particles are created during nuclear reactions, including those that occur in the sun or in supernova explosions. All over the cosmos, neutrinos are present, and every second, trillions of these particles travel across each square centimeter of Earth. Because of their very low interaction rate, neutrinos are incredibly hard to detect. In fact, to study them undisturbed, researchers have traveled as far as the South Pole. With the use of neutrinos and muon tomography, archaeologists were able to fully illuminate the Great Pyramid of Giza and unearth a brand new walled room within this fabled structure. The muon, the heavier relative of the electron, is another intriguing particle. When atoms collide with cosmic rays in our planet's upper atmosphere, muons are produced. Muons are incredibly unstable, and in a matter of microseconds, they transform into electrons and neutrinos. Similar to the Higgs boson, muons show anomalies that defy the predictions of particle physics' standard model. Specifically, muons seem to exhibit more magnetic interaction behavior than predicted mathematically. Muons, according to researchers, may also lead to entirely new fields of study in physics and natural science.